Hi, my name is Thomas Farley, and I'm in Goldfield, Nevada. Modern art, particularly abstract expressionism, has a major problem that few of the people behind it, I think, understand, and that is you have authorities who are very good at a subject, and this applies to all trades, all hobbies, all professions. You have authorities on a subject, but there are very few authorities that can explain their subject well. Really, really rare to get a really good teacher. And abstract expressionism, such as what Jackson Pollock did with his dripping oil paintings, those really fight against common sense when somebody tries to explain their importance and their value. Just scattered, this may be aesthetically pleasing splatters of paint, but when they start to spin a story about it, common sense starts to push back. I find that the best explainers are the people at the auction houses like Sotheby's and Heritage Auction. But the majority of curators and artists themselves, art critics, simply can't explain their subject. You have people in the field, professors perhaps, that they're publishing, uh, they're getting published, but to their own. They're talking amongst themselves. They're not trying to communicate to, and some of them shouldn't be communicating to lay people or to a class of undeclared majors. They know their subject, but they can't communicate it well. And that just, as I said before, that goes across every trade, every profession, but we really don't realize it. It's always in the background, but that needs to be brought out because to explain Jackson Pollock and his worth and his importance, you have to be really, really good. And art, visual art, suffers from an inherent problem in that Picasso or somebody like him once said that if I wanted to explain in words what this piece meant, I would have written you a book. I would have written you a book. You're not trying to express art quite often in words. So right then and there, for somebody to make that translation, to put an expression of art into words, they have to be really, really good. And I don't see it in art. I don't see this, this, this rationality and common sense that needs to come into the discussion when you're discussing something that is fighting against your in, innate sense of aesthetics. Take two.